Hey everyone and welcome back to another video and welcome to Chess's Island called Blush Island. This is an amazing fairy core magical Christmas island theme. Absolutely buzzing to show you all the details of this amazing island. Let's get started. So this is her amazing island. I love all the Christmas detailing going on here. I love the flowers and I love the beware of the fairy sign. It is a five star island. You can just see the lily of the valley there. I love the little Christmas dripping through and the Christmas sign on the top right there as well. That is adorable. Now if I can get up these stairs. Um, this is amazing. I love the custom design flooring and I love the pinks. Uh, yeah, if you didn't know me, I love a good pink. Uh, let's go left and this is her map. So I will be timestamping all the different areas of her island. So I will be timestamping her Nook's Cranny, her museum, her Able Sisters and the campsite and her house for you. So you can kind of jump to those bits if any parts inspire you. Uh, yeah, let's go left first and see where this takes us. Uh, Chess, I'm really sorry if I go any wrong way on this island. I know that sometimes it's really painful to watch people touring your island if they just go the complete wrong way. So I apologise in advance. Here is an adorable ice skating rink which is super cute and is full of Nova Lights which I love. Um, I actually think it's quite small which is perfect for me as well because I'm quite small and also I'm not very good at ice skating so this would be perfect for me. Um, this just goes to show that you do not need to have a massive ice skating rink on your island. Sometimes they can be small and just as cute as the massive ones that people have. Love this, love the custom design flooring. Here's an adorable seated area, which is super cute. Let's head across this bridge. I love all the pink flowers. If you watched my recent stream, you'll know that I got rid of most of my flowers. Well, most of my ones that were taking up my island um, the other day, so it makes me regret getting rid of all my flowers. Uh, but they were weird colours, they weren't pink and purple. They weren't all cute like these ones are. Um, let's head down, I saw this here, I wonder what this leads to. This is adorable. Oh, and this leads to her beach, which looks like it's been kept quite natural actually. I love that. We won't spend too much time on the beach if it's natural. I also love that she has picked the flowers and drops them as well. I think that's a really good idea. Whenever I pick flowers, I just get so annoyed and sell them to um, nooks. So it's nice to see something good being done with those. And that's a good kind of lesson for all of us, really. If you pick flowers, you can put them back on the floor and they look just as cute. Cute little stall there. Um, what's across here? So here we are, we are at her nooks, so nothing major uh, going on here, but that does not mean that it's not got a, a great amount of detail in. Um, I love how natural but cluttered this feels and looks. Not cluttered in a bad way, I don't want people thinking that's a negative word. Uh, definitely cluttered in a good way, it just feels like there's a lot going on and every time you look back you notice something that wasn't there before, so I really really love that. Um, and yeah, let's head over this way, see what is over here. Oh, we're kind of going into a blue theme. Um, oh, this is Sherb's house. I've never actually met Sherb, um, but I just know what his house looks like from the blue. I love that she's made this whole area quite blue instead of pink. It just really separates it and I love that. Uh, back to her beach. Should we run across her beach and see what she has done with the stone area? Oh, of course, she's included a little shell, um, mermaid area, adorable, I love it when people do this, it just suits the island so well, I also love that she's just filled the stone with custom design flooring as well, just kind of make it that really, you know, extra detail, um, and just really stunning to look at, to be honest, and again, every time you look, you notice something you didn't see before, so let's head back. I hope I haven't ruined all those flowers. I might have done. I'm really sorry if I have. I know it's only a dream address, but still, never nice to ruin people's flowers. <laughs> so let's head back upwards. So there's her nooks there. Did we come down? I don't think we did. So let's head back up this way. Oh, just look at the terraforming. The terraforming is incredible on this island. We haven't gone this way. 
a good use of the pine cone as well. Pine cones are really good to kind of just drop throughout your island. Again, just make give it a really cluttered and detailed feel. I also like the fact that she hasn't put Christmas items everywhere. They're quite in drips and drabs throughout the island, which is really a good idea. And it's really subtle um, to kind of just remind you that it's Christmas as well as being a really cool fairy core island. An adorable seated area here. Love that. With a little gingerbread man in the middle. Adorable. These circle areas are really good for if you have a fairy core island. Um, I don't know if it's something to do with fairies, kind of a cir seated circle. Maybe it is, I'm not educated enough on fairies. Um, but yeah, I love that. Oh, and I think I can see in the distance here her museum. Oh wow, I love the terraforming going on here. This is super cute. Kind of river running through and the beware of the fairy sign. I just love that. I have not seen that before. Um, however, I'm sure now I've seen it once, I'm gonna see it a couple more times on people's islands, um, unless it's her own. So I think I saw Diana over here. Yes, I saw Diana. I love Diana and she really fits in with this island. I love the purple um, flowers here and the fact that she's so stripped candles and mushroom lights as well everywhere. Like again, you kind of see them without noticing. So it's things like that that just that just happen and you never notice. Uh, so yeah, love that. And here's Molly. It's such a shame that they don't know you when you visit them because <laughs> she's on my island. Sorry, Molly did get through here um yeah love that this is a cute area and it's a good reminder actually that you don't always need lots going on on your island everywhere you go you can just have big areas of just things and just pathways and just trees and that is a good kind of reminder and um, that you don't need to feel so stressed about filling up your whole island just kind of see what happens and if you don't have something for that place it's okay so I can see here that we have a red theme. I don't know if we have a theme for every Islander's house. I haven't actually properly looked. Maybe we do, because here is a green theme. How did I not notice that with the other Islander's houses? I don't know, but I love this green theme. Even though it's green, not pink or purple, it still fits in very well. I love that there's literally 22 candies there. <laughs> it's 22 of them. Uh, love this little area here i love that she's not put too much outside of islanders houses and just outside of the houses or places in general on oh, here's her campsite um again very natural but very detailed yeah love that i would love to stay at this campsite to be honest in fact i'd love to stay at this whole island let's head this way again another islanders house this one's got a bit more tucked away feel about it love the christmas tree and the heart crystal on the floor islands like this just use the heart crystal so well um so yeah i love that i'm obsessed with custom design flooring as well it is giving me life <laughs> and here is her house so let's head inside to her house oh my goodness wow i love this this is so calm so peaceful look at all the cakes i feel like there's so many cakes on this island I love that. Oh, look at this. Sounds like the piano is playing on its own, which is kind of creepy. <laughs> Let's go left and see what is in here. Oh my goodness, this is like a winter or winter? Definitely autumn. An autumn forest. I love this. I love the books. It's like a little library. Oh, adorable. Love the detail that has gone into this. And then let's go into this back room and see what is in here. Oh my goodness, this is super cute as well. This reminds me of Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> I don't know if maybe I'm just going a bit crazy. Uh, I love the mushroom stool on the little table. And just, wow, this is adorable. This would be very calming to sit and read a book in. I would love that, actually. That would be very nice. I also didn't even notice but she has a little dog here and even he is pink i love that i love this bathroom this is super cute um yeah i love the use of all the whites and the pinks as well so 
So let's head to outside of our house and kind of head down and see what is over here. Yeah, let's go down here and go right. So here is an adorable little doll's house area. That is super cute. Fits in really well with the fairies. I like little fairy houses. Love that. What is over here? Oh, a little tucked away. Another little circle seated area. That is amazing. I love these. They're so detailed, uh, but quite a simple idea, but really detailed as well. I just can't believe how much of the floor is filled with custom design. Um, it looks amazing and it's not overkill as well. I just, I wonder how long she has spent on this island, genuinely. It looks stunning. Um, also here is her rock area. Now if anyone has been watching my videos for a while will know that anytime I see a rock area I say that I need to redo mine. Um, I really need to redo my rock area. Mine's really plain and really boring and I literally did it in like the 3x3, three three, um, which is fine if, you ha if it suits your island it does but it just really doesn't suit my island anymore i need to kind of make mine look a bit more creative and a bit more fun um but yeah i love that and then over here is her ables again kept quite natural and i love that nothing major going on but again major in every other way in the custom design aspect the flower aspect and i love the mushroom lamp mushroom yeah it's a mushroom lamp isn't it yeah the mushroom lamps that have been used as well and the actual real mushrooms as well um add so much detail to this island uh yeah you kind of don't realize that the real mushrooms growing just had a real good effect uh yeah so i love that So there we are, I think we are at the end of this tour guys, thank you so much if you got all the way to the end with me, I have absolutely loved doing this island tour, um, yeah this was a stunning 5 star fairy Christmas core island, I'm absolutely obsessed with it, again if you want to check out her Instagram um, or her dream dress it's in the comments and the description below, remember if you want your island tour then please just fill out the form which is in my description and please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.